टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स सो वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स इज बेसिकली द पैसेज ऑफ यूरिन फ्रॉम यूरिनरी ब्लेडर इन टू द यूरिटर पैसेज ऑफ यूरिनरी ब्लेडर और रिफ्लक्स ऑफ यूरिन सॉरी रिफ्लक्स और पैसेज ऑफ यूरिन फ्रॉम यूरिनरी ब्लेडर इन टू द यूरिटर इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ यूरिन फ्रॉम द किडनी थ्रू द यूरिटर्स इन टू दी ब्लेडर नॉर्मली यूरिन फॉर्मेशन बिगिनस इन द किडनी एट द लेवल ऑफ नेफ्रॉन्स इन दिस पायरामिड्स देन द यूरिन बेसिकली गोज एट द लेवल ऑफ रीनल पेपिला इन टू दी माइनर कैलिसिस मेजर कैलिसिस रीनल पेलविस देन द यूरिटर एंड देन इन टू दी यूरिनरी ब्लेडर सो बेसिकली दिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ यूरिन फ्रॉम किडनी थ्रू द यूरिटर इन टू दी ब्लेडर इफ देयर इज एनी एबनॉर्मेलिटी ड्यू टू विच ड्यू टू विच देयर इज रिफ्लक्स और पैसेज ऑफ यूरिन फ्रॉम ब्लेडर इन टू दी यूरिटर इट इज नोन एज वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स नाउ देर आर अलॉट ऑफ टाइप्स देर आर अलॉट ऑफ कॉजेज ऑफ वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स बट फ्रॉम अवर फिजियोलॉजी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्राइमरी कॉज द प्राइमरी वेजिको यूरिटरल रिफ्लक्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस दैट बेसिकली दिस इज द ब्लेडर वॉल सपोज फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज द ब्लेडर वॉल एंड इन साइड द ब्लेडर वॉल द यूरिटर बेसिकली मूवस द the ureter basically moves a few centimeter it moves a few centimeter inside the wall and it is moving obliquely so basically this is the uh, ureter this is ureter this is basically the ureter it is moving inside few for a few centimeter it is moving inside the wall of the urinary bladder inside the wall of the urinary bladder and it is moving obliquely so when urine is coming into the bladder it can move this it can come into the urine can basically come can pass from ureter into the bladder but when when the bladder contracts when the bladder contracts this area basically closes this closes and this area which is acting as a valve it basically prevents it basically prevents the urine the passage of urine from bladder into the ureter now sometimes in some kids this area is not well developed and the, the 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 distance which the ureter is basically moving in the wall of the bladder is less or it is less than normal then in those kids in those kids when the bladder contracts there is some movement of urine from bladder into the ureter and this is known as the primary vesico ureteral reflex now there are causes there are other causes of vesico ureteral reflex as like uh, infections or uh, atonic or neurogenic uh, bladder in which there is a lot of collection there is some blockage of there is some a blockage or there is inactivity of the bladder due to which there is accumulation of urine and then urine can move into the ureter but the primary cause is that the the, the area the distance which the ureter normally is moving obliquely to the wall of the bladder which acts is a valve when the ureter uh, when the bladder contracts when this bladder contracts it basically stops the movement of urine from bladder into the ureter and if this area is not developed then with the contraction of the bladder there will be movement from a uh, bladder into the ureter and it will be considered as vesico ureteral reflex but this will be the primary vesico ureteral reflex now there are a lot of other causes of vesico ureteral reflex we are not going into detail because we are discussing it purely from physiology point of view but there are a lot of grades of vesico ureteral reflex grade 1 is basically the passage of urine from bladder into the ureter and grade 2 is basically the passage of urine from bladder into the ureter as well as the renal pelvis and then grade 3 is basically the passage of urine into the ureter with mild swelling of ureter due to accumulation of urine then in grade 4 there is moderate swelling of the ureter and finally in grade 5 there is severe swelling of the ureter due to accumulation of large amount of urine in the ureter now the the test used for the diagnosis of the uh, vesico ureteral reflux is that a dye is basically injected into the ureter and then an x ray is taken which is and after it after that the 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 patient is asked to void urine and after voiding urine an x ray is taken and this is known as voiding cystourethrogram voiding cystourethrogram so we are not going into this details of these things and i am not fully prepared even for these things uh, because uh, these things are related to medicine and surgery and urology but from physiology point of view we were just trying to explain the primary vesico ureteral reflux in which the urine uh, basically passes or there is passage of urine from urinary bladder into the ureter due to abnormal valve or due to that small amount of distance that the ureter is moving through the wall of the bladder that's all about the vesico ureteral reflux thanks a lot for watching the video